Greetings folks, this is probably one of my favourite receivers, it's the GRX6 FR Sky receiver. It, uh, the G stands for glider, it's specifically designed for gliders or small gliders. It has the variometer sensor built in. It has six PWM outputs, which is perfect for a small glider or a glider that doesn't have flaps or a glider that you don't want full house set up. It's the R series, which means it's a redundancy receiver, which means that you can connect another receiver to it uh, and you have redundancy features. And if one receiver craps out, then you've still got the other one working. It also gives you a 40% range increase over the previous X series. You can load the access firmware onto it. So that means it will work with access on the new X-Lite transmitter if you want to, uh, or you can leave it as ACCST, which is what I do. Also has smart ports, so you can add extra sensors onto it, like the current sensor, GPS and LiPo sensor, they'll all plug directly into the receiver and put, report back to the transmitter. Also has S-Bus, so you can get 16 channels uh, S-Bus through to a flight control board. And it also has conformal coating on the board, which I didn't know what that was until I saw Bruce's video recently uh, about the Firefly 4K split camera. Uh, and he pointed out that conformal coating is the sort of coating over the components on the board to uh, keep it a little bit waterproof, I guess. This has conformal coating. So if you're gliding in the rain, should be right. Now, as I said, it has the variometer sensor on board, which reports altitude and your vertical speed. It gives those vertical speed beeps to let you know whether you're rising in a thermal or, or you've fallen out of the thermal and you're sinking. Very, very useful for fun gliding. Uh, and I'm going to use it on my little U-glider here, which is a fantastic little lightweight, cheap uh, thermal glider. So I'll show you how to set it up, put it on the U-glider and we'll take it for a fly uh, and hopefully we can get some thermals. Currently on the U-glider, I have the variometer sensor, the separate high precision variometer sensor there, and I have an X6R receiver decased and, and sort of buried under the wing there. What I can do with this receiver now is uh, bring all of that up to the front, or actually keep it all back down there under the wing and have none of this extra stuff. Another thing that's useful is to have a LiPo sensor. I could just uh, change that to the LiPo sensor. And you plug this into the balance port of your LiPo and you can get a, a live readout of the voltage level, how much battery you've got left, how many climb outs you've got left. Very, very useful. All right, let's have a closer look at the FR Sky G RX6. They all have a security tag on them these days, so if it's been opened, uh, you know it might have been tampered with. So if we get the instruction manual in there, you can also download this from the website as well as the Access and ACCST firmware. Now for comparison, that's a, a, an X6R case, probably the one I have in the U-glider actually. You can see the size difference there, it's just a different ball game altogether. There's the bigger cousin, the GRX8, 8 channel, uh, it's way smaller than that too. If we look here, we have one, two, three, four, five PWM outputs. Where's the sixth one, you say? Oh, it's on the back. There it is there. And we have the bind and fail safe button there, LEDs there. Get a little six pin plug here. And I guess they're giving you the option of keeping it absolutely tiny. If you want S bus or S port, you're going to need to solder that on. It means you can pop that into the tiny nose of a DLG or, or whatever. Got stickers on here telling us the polarity. You better get rid of them. But also in tiny writing here, we can see uh, negative, positive, and signal. So this top here is the signal, and the negative is down below. S port of the first three analog, A2 in, S bus out, and S bus in. So to solder that plug on, you would need to just pull this uh, cardboard casing off, rubber band there, solder in those pins there. And that's interesting, it sort of doesn't fit very well with the antenna there. It's a bit too much glue on there maybe. 
Yeah, that's better. So I had to pick out a little bit of the glue holding the antenna on, but that's fine. Negative up that way. That's correct. All right, we'll solder it up. Ooh, that's fine soldering. All right, let's make sure we've got it right. Pins to the left. Negative, positive. S port. Analog. S bus out. S bus in. We're good to go. So I have my U glider selected. Uh, page. Oh no, sorry. Page. D16. I have the ACCST firmware on the receiver and the transmitter. Put into bind mode, hold down the button. Which is tricky in itself. And we get the green light and the red flashing light, which means we're bound. As always, we need to check it with a servo. We're good to go. Now, we also need to uh, set up the telemetry. Go to the telemetry screen. Uh, discover new sensors. Here we go. We have altitude, vertical speed, analog, RSSI and receiver battery. So that's good. We'll stop discovery. Now we've got to tell the transmitter what the vario source is and we want the vario source to be vertical speed. That's the range and we want it, uh, you can have it silent or tone. There's the tone. Tone goes all the time, you can turn that to silent for that centre section, which is a good idea. Then it'll only beep as it's rising or sinking. Let's try that, shall we? Rising. Sinking. Rising. Sinking. Oh, that works nicely. Easy. So that's going to fit nicely under the wing there. And I have the LiPo sensor up here, which will tell me the battery voltage and I've discovered new sensors and we've got the cells uh, 8.17 volts so I'll set up the spoken commands now so I want altitude every 10 seconds with the C switch in the middle 1. position 1.3 meters cool so now I've got 1.4 meters altitude and uh, vertical speed beeps 8.2 volts and the battery voltage so we're ready to go look for thermals now all right here we are on a calm cold winter morning sun's out so hopefully it's heating up the ground and producing a few little bubbles of lift 1.1 meters Let's try it at that. Get some beepy sounds. Bit of bobbling up there, so there's something going on. Generally coming down. No luck yet. Go up again. Bit of electric lift getting it up there. just yet. But the receiver is working beautifully, getting the altitude and the vario feedback.
There we go, there's a bit, bit of something there. Very small and localised. Definitely there though. There we go, there's some lift. So there we go, nice little receiver for small gliders with the Vario built in, the GRX6 receiver from FR Sky. Great little receiver and Vario. Thanks for watching.